pan on yet, but now would be a real good time to make sure that our head wasn't hitting the tops of our pistons because I can just reach in here and grab it and turn it over and spin it. And we want to use a Z head on this application. And there have been issues of Z heads uh, hitting the pistons. So without a gasket, I can set this Z head, which by the way, I have milled it 30 thousandths. This was on another engine that I have uh, that we were building, trying to build a little hotter engine and the sense went with a different type of head, but that's a whole other story. But this one's been milled 30 thousandths, and if I just set it on here, and I'll just put a couple of bolts in here just to, just to line it. You notice I don't have a gasket in it. And if I turn this, you can hear it. It's hitting. It just, it's, it's, uh, pistons are hitting the top of the combustion chamber in the, in the head. Now, I don't know what that amount is, but I'm going to say it's at least, well, it's at least hitting it by 20,000s, raising it over here on this side. So, the gasket is about 75,000s or so. You know, this one says 75. And it will crush when I bolt it and torque it all down. And if memory serves me right, we figure that will crush down to at least 50,000s. So, I could probably probably put the gasket in here and it wouldn't hit. But um, I don't have any plastic gauge here to really tell what kind of clearance I got. And so I don't think I'm going to use this head. We're trying to just build a dependable engine and not a real hot one. So set that one out of the way. And I have another Z head here that hasn't been milled. If I set it on top of this engine, and use a kind of couple bolts here to kind of line it up where it is, where, it's, where it should rest. There we go. I can spin the engine through, and it's not hitting. I don't feel it hitting at all. Uh, so this this will be the head that we'll use because the gasket is going to raise it up another 50. So I don't have any concerns. But if I wanted to check that, uh, plastic gauge is the correct thing to do uh, to use. Uh, you can, in a pinch, use some modeling clay and just take you a ball and put it on top of the piston where it would contact. And you'll notice this is this is a head that has been used. We we'll put it up here a couple of places and then run run it through with the bolts on it and peel it off and see what your see what your clearance is. Uh, uh, Fifty thousandths uh, squish is kind of a number that uh, I've been told is uh, don't want to get any closer than that. But uh, so this will be the head that we'll use. And when I for the gasket on it, that's going to gain another 50,000. So we'll use this for our project.